Hello everyone, welcome back. So in our previous video, we have already defined our model architecture, our NVIDIA model architecture. So we have followed this paper, okay? This is the uh, architecture proposed by NVIDIA and this is the paper guys, uh, I think I already explained, okay? So now in this video, what I will do, I will start the training, okay? So for starting the training, what I need to do, I need to like uh, uh, define some of the code here. So let's do it. So guys, uh, this is the code uh, to start the training. So basically what I am doing, uh, here, first of all, here, if you see, uh, this is my model, I'm calling my model, okay? And I'm just uh, uh, like calling this feed, uh, feed generator, okay? Feed generator, inside feed generator, I'm calling my batch generator. I think you remember, we have defined our batch generator, this one, okay? It will actually uh, generate the batch size during training, okay? And inside that, I'm passing my training example, okay? Here, if you see, then I'm giving the batch size as 100, okay? So it will take 100 example, okay, at a time. And here I'm just making this argument training is equal to true because here I want to apply augmentation technique. Okay. Then step by epochs I'm defining then epochs number of epochs is basically here. I've just kept 10 epochs just for like you can say uh, ju just to show you because it will take a lot of time. Okay. So if you're training this model, just try to go with higher number of epochs. Okay. So I already trained this model and I will share this model with you. So don't you don't have to worry about. Okay. You, you can use my model. Okay. It's fine. And here I'm defining validation data, okay, which is nothing but again, I'm calling my batch generator, okay, and here I'm defining my validation example, and again, I'm uh, giving the batch size as 100, okay, and this uh, trend data is equal to, I'm making it as false because I don't want to apply the augmentation technique here. Now, these are the argument you need to provide, okay, so after that, let's start the training, okay, so I will just click here. See guys, it has started the training. Training is going on. So guys, uh, it will take uh, time. So I will wait, okay? So I'll come back when uh, training gets over, okay? Uh, all right guys, so you can see our training has been done. So we have just ran 10 epochs, but still like uh, the loss is like very less. Uh, so it's a pretty good model guys. Uh, if you want to decrease like more, so just uh, try to take higher epochs here. At least just try to train uh, 50 epochs. So just try to at least train with 50 epochs, okay? So you will feel like uh, your loss will be decreasing more, okay? But uh, still it's fine, uh, 10 epochs it's also fine, okay? It will uh, work perfect, okay? Now if you want to plot the, you can say loss graph, so it is also possible. Now let's plot. So guys, uh, this code actually will plot our uh, loss, validation loss, okay? This thing. So guys, uh, this is our final uh, loss graph. So this side actually I have the number of box and this side actually will see your loss, okay? So this is your training loss and this is your validation loss. And as per your try, uh, like epox is increasing, your loss is also decreasing, okay? Now what I need to do, we have uh, successfully trained our model. Now I need to save the model, okay? Because this model I will be using uh, whenever I, I'll be creating uh, like this socket IO, okay? Like I need to, uh, uh, so basically what I need to do, I, I will be creating one uh, Python file called drive.py, okay? Inside that I will be writing all the logic. So th there actually I will be uh, connecting my, uh, uh, I mean, Wooder City simulator uh, with my Python code, okay? So what are the prediction it will return? Your uh, like drive.py or you can talk about your model. I need to pass that prediction, okay? I need to pass that uh, statement uh, to our Wooder City simulator so that whenever it will pass the prediction, okay? With respect to that prediction value, it will move the starting angle automatically, okay? So for that, actually, I need to download the model. So to download the model, so you can use this line of code. So basically here, first of all, I'm saving my model, okay? And after that, uh, I'm using these files, okay, from uh, Google Colab, and I'm trying to download, okay? Now let's execute. See, it's downloading the model, okay? So once you have downloaded the model, just keep this model, okay, with you. So in our next video, we'll be like uh, doing our environment setup. We'll be doing the requirement setup, okay. After that, we'll be creating this uh, application, okay, like our drive.py, okay. Inside drive.py, we'll be writing all the logics uh, to connect with our UDA city simulator, okay. So I already downloaded this model, okay. And if you see, it is already downloaded right now, okay. So I'll be using this model. So yes, guys, uh, this is all about from this video. Uh, so thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you next time.